Hello friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Colonization! Let's see what I've got going on here. I've got a lot of men waiting outside of this, this city right here, Roanoke. And where, where do I need people? Well, I could probably use someone in Baltimore, so I'm going to send this guy to Baltimore. Tupi want to kill us. I get it. Roanoke is building a fortress. Eventually. Oh, good. One of the colonists in Plymouth has become a statesman. And Plymouth has produced artillery. I will build a cathedral in Plymouth now. Oh, come on. What is this? How come I can't... How come I can't click? That's weird. I don't know why that's happening. That's weird and that's annoying and I'm offended by it. Anyway, so we have a statesman here. And he's the guy at the town hall. So I... I cannot click on these guys. Regulars added to the Royal Expeditionary Force. Alright, can I click on them now? No. That's really irritating. Alright, just hold on a second. Alright, well, I don't know what the big deal there was, but I restarted the game. So hopefully that won't cause me any more problems. Yes, the Toopy wanna... Oh, really? Toopy? Seriously? Alright, the Toopy have gone too far. See, now I can drag these guys. I don't know what the big deal was. Alright, this guy... Well, this guy can go to Roanoke. Roanoke? Regulars added. And the Toopy have just gone way too far. It's time for them to die. Although I do have to deal with these Frenchmen here. Good, good, good. Alright, I have another piece of artillery, so maybe I can station this one in Roanoke. Anything I need from the galleon here? Hmm, not really. I can put some sugar on the frigate, but the galleon is kind of not in need of that kind of thing. This guy needs muskets. Alright. Alright, I have plenty more colonists, but the two people are going to burn for what they've done. They have made the roads unsafe. And no fault of mine. So the two people, oh, by the way, I can put this lumberjack back to work because... Because there's not a Frenchman fortified here now. And I can now put this carpenter back to work because there's enough wood. Helpful, huh? So let's build a cathedral. Cathedral, what, doubles the number of, of, or increases by 33% the number of crosses, something like that. I don't know. Got a farmer, and I'd like to move him, but I can't do that with these marauding 2P highwaymen all over the place. So unfortunately, I'm just going to have to kill the 2P. Oh, Roanoke became a fortress. How do you like that? It was a long time coming. We need a schoolhouse in Roanoke. That much is plain. Fortress at Plymouth is opening fire on a French merchantman. So, because I have added another piece of artillery to the fortress, it has a greater attack rate here. Pretty cool, huh? French merchantman was damaged. And I really have nothing I want to add here to the to the galleon. Alright, skip all these turns. One, two, three. Six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm done playing games with the Tupi. I'm bringing out the heavy artillery. 
Oh, by the way, I'm still being attacked by Frenchmen. And Ronan. Now that was not a surprise. Yeah, the Doopy are definitely at war with me. They're not going to win. I've had enough of the Doopy's games, you know? 300 for some silver, so that's nice. And we have 1,615 gold. No, 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 no. Wait, we have 1,900 gold now. I don't really have any particular need for other things here, so I will set sail with what I've got. All right. Boston has produced a custom house. So other than that, I don't know, just build artillery or something. Here is what the custom house does. The Custom House automatically sells things, whether there's an embargo on it or not. I don't want to sell food, because that's needed for the colony. I don't want to sell sugar, because sugar is the basis of rum. I don't want to sell tobacco. I mean, if I'm not producing rum, then I may as well sh sell sugar, right? Tobacco is not necessary, because I don't produce tobacco here. Same thing with cotton. Furs, I don't have furs, you know. Lumber, I don't want to export lumber because I use it to build. Silver, sure, export it. Ore, don't export ore because I need it for tools. Don't export horses. Rum, cigars, cloth, coats, I all want to export because they're finished trade goods. I can't do anything with them besides sell them. Trade goods, I can get a better price somewhere else if I happen to come across some. Tools I need, obviously, to build things, and muskets are necessary for defense. So, depending on what the colony is producing, I can adjust the different um, commodities, commodities that sell. The Custom House will only sell only a certain amount of this. So, I don't think they're going to sell all of 73 tons of sugar. They, they might, but I don't think they will. But if I have 173 tons of sugar, they will sell 100 tons. So, there you have it. Custom house. Makes life easy. And Knobsko has produced an armory. Alright. So now I can make artillery here, which is why I built that here. That's fine. What else do I need here? Uh, probably a schoolhouse. And the fortress at Plymouth is gonna open fire on this French privateer. Ah, you see, you gotta... Those guys have to be careful around a fortress. They keep going around here thinking they're going to Quebec or something. Well, they're gonna sink if they go too close to the fortress. And the more artillery I add to it, the stronger its attack becomes. So, they must be cautious. Alright, Dragoons. I'll turn away from the Toopy for a second to deal with the French. Three, two. These fishermen are gonna. Oh, they need docks. Well, build docks already. And we have a statesman here in Roanoke. Now this guy is going to leave and become an elder statesman. All right. And this guy, Roanoke, has to get out there. I mean, not Roanoke. This guy in Santo Domingo has to go over to Plymouth or somewhere where he can get some guns. Now maybe I can get someone over to Baltimore or, or Penobscot. Somewhere. I don't really feel safe. Uh, 
Oh, wow. Dutch Galleon, venturing too close to our fortress. Again. Bad idea. 16 plus 50 is 24. And here we've got this 7.5 defense Galleon. Well, they handled that pretty well. One, two, three. Pioneer, oh, I guess it's safe. For now. Fortify, one, two, three, four. And I may as well just attack these, attack these bastards before they start attacking me again. We're gonna burn it. All right, 600 gold worth of treasure. Tupi tribe bows before the might of the English. In tribute to your greatness, we give you all the land you now occupy. Yeah, you better. It won't end well for you if you refuse. All right, I might as well move this artillery toward Quebec. We've got some expert lumberjacks in England. That's good. I could use them. Hundred muskets and hundred tools. How do you like that? I like that just fine. One, two, three. Please center. And there's a fur trader here. I, I really have no use for a fur trader. Do I produce furs anywhere? Yeah, Santo Domingo. Well, Santo Domingo, this is not even plowed. Because, I don't know, the Spanish just never bothered to plow it. So they are producing furs, but I don't really need a fur trader at all. Two, three. Farmer. I guess I'll send the farmer to Santo Domingo. I really have to figure out what I'm going to do with all these guys. Fortify right there. One, two, three. All right. One, two, three. And because we're producing so much food in Santo Domingo, we have yet another colonist there. So we can... well, we can't really build any faster. Oh, I don't know. Try and convert more people to the cause. And... a French privateer has ventured in front of our fortress at Plymouth again. Oh, that's a frigate, not a privateer. They're both in the same square. The French privateer has sunk. And the frigate was damaged. Well, they just don't learn. They really shouldn't have gone to war with us. Alright. What is Plymouth going to do now? Magazine? I don't think so. Custom House? Rum Distillery? I don't know about that. How about the Custom House? That's pretty much the last thing I think I really want. All the other things are just specific buildings for certain for certain industries that don't really exist here in Plymouth. I could grow sugar or whatever if I wanted to, but I'd rather get the ore and use it to make tools and use that to make muskets and sell them with a Custom House, you know. We'll be rich before we know it. All right, muskets, one, two, three, four. Muskets and tools. Good cargo. One, whoops, one, three. Going the wrong way here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Now if this French merchantman wasn't in the way, I could attack that, that Dutch galleon, but it is.
here. You. You're mine. One, two, three. I can use that artillery against those arrogant French. I don't suppose there's any rainforest around here. Can I... Uh, view hidden terrain. Yeah, I don't think there's any rainforest there, so there wouldn't actually... If I were to capture that... Alright, you can stop doing that now. <laughs> if I were to capture Quebec, I wouldn't have a source of tools. I just have another dead weight like Santo Domingo. Which is not what I want. I don't think the river will do me any good for ore. It might. It probably wouldn't, though. One, two... You know, just get the galleon out there. Oh, look! The, wa the wagon train has horses on it. Very valuable stuff. One, two, three... Alright, fur trader. I have no use for a fur trader. What am I going to do with that? All right, train another senior uh, elder statesman. There we go. I don't have any use for a fur trader. Roanoke has built a schoolhouse. Very good. Now, how about... Oh, I don't know. What could I do there? Ironworks? Ironworks for one? Let me see this. Six ore, so that's twelve ore, right? And this guy is producing twelve tools himself, so 100% of the ore is being used. This guy's just doing nothing. So rather than doing that, I'll go here. We'll build a college. And I really don't know what to do with all these other people right now. They're just... They're just extra colonists at this point. Soon to San Domingo. They've built a printo. Printo. Wow. They've built a printing press. So they get 50% more town. 50% more Liberty Bells. Wow, I'm not talking too well today. Next time on Let's Play Colonization, we build something else in Santo Domingo? I don't know, maybe we're not even going to build anything in Santo Domingo because there's no tools there. What am I going to build? And we begin on, on an offense against France.